please. It's time to let me go. I'm sorry, it's not time yet. Yet? What does that mean? Rest. You're back. Because of your incompetence. Robin was able to reach a phone. It made no difference. We were able to take the phone away before she spoke to anyone. She spoke to her daughter. A child. So little girl's father thought she was playing pretend. He had no idea it was really Robin on the line. A few moments more, she would have spoken to her husband. Now, thanks to you, I have to change my plans for Robin. <sighs> Patrick, please, just listen to Emma. Please. Her treatment had been erratic. Sometimes Robin is near catatonic, other times almost uncontrollable. Now stop making excuses. My schedule in Port Charles was going perfectly well. Now my timetable has been thrown out all because you cannot do the one thing I asked you to do. Control her. <sighs> oh, I have to get out of here. I will. You're right, of course. She should have been supervised more carefully. Please, if there's anything stop I can do... Stop grovelling. Shut up for once and listen to me. Get your hands off me! Get you, put your hands on me again, I'll kill you! Duke? Robin? I'm hallucinating. It, it must have been what they gave me. Robin? You're all grown up. What have they done to you? You're not really here. You've been dead since I was a little girl. No. No. I'm here. I'm real. Look. How real this can be. <laughs> but how? I mean, where have you been all these years? I've been in prison. They kept me away from my family and my friends and the two people that mean most to me in the entire world, you and your mother. Oh, my God. Last time I saw you, you were a little girl. Now you're a woman. What are you doing here? I don't know. I'm a prisoner and I don't know why. Thank God you're here. If anyone can get me out of here, it's you. I don't remember much after the lab exploded. All I know is I, I woke up in some strange hospital. Do you have any idea where that was? No. No, they, they drugged me up, and, and then when I wouldn't comply, they gave me electroshock. Oh, good God. And then they moved me here. I have to get home to my family. My God, I I wonder how my mom is going to feel when she finds out you're alive. She was shocked. After I got out of prison, I insisted that I get to go home to Port Charles. Did you see my little girl? I did. Yeah. She's beautiful. She's just like you when you were a little girl. And Patrick? How's my husband? Everybody at home thinks that you're dead. But if you were at home, then... How did I get to be here? I came looking for you. But you just said everybody thinks I'm dead. <sighs> when I was in Washington, I had to go there to be debriefed. I heard a rumor that you were alive, so I... I came here to, to, to find you. You told my mother, right? Please tell me that you told her. No, I didn't tell anybody. I didn't. I didn't want to get her hopes up. I didn't want to come here and then not find you. But I have found you. <laughs> Unfortunately, they found me first. But I'm gonna find a way to get us both out of here. And I'm gonna take you home to your mother. Please plan to get us out of here. When somebody comes in here, I'll subdue them. I'll get a key card, get an ID, and hopefully car keys, and then, then we can get out of here. You haven't changed at all, Duke. Still my hero, just like in my favorite book when I was a little girl. 
Remember that? How could I forget? <laughs> that morning, I was reading the book. My mom kept nagging me to finish my breakfast, but I couldn't stop reading it because I was so into it. And then I told her that the prince was just like you. You're tall, dark, handsome swain. I know you didn't come all this way just to talk about my complicated life. Hey, I don't mind. <laughs> yeah. But I am due at the rib. Oh. I gotta go. Oh. I uh, brought a birthday present for Emma. Oh, you did? It's very thoughtful of you, great uncle. S since I knew you'd be seeing her before I do. I'll deliver it to her. Thank you. From you. And Felicia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. She loves to read. arrived and the dragon ran off to wherever green polka dotted yellow eyed free fire breathing dragons go the prince lifted alina onto his horse and they happily rode off into the sunset da 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 the end very nice very long but very nice no, no more reading at breakfast each other the prince in my fairy tale looks just like uncle do everything okay yeah this is robin's favorite no, the, the prince didn't look like you at all. He was a little boy with blonde hair and blue eyes. That's why it was so funny. Don't you remember? Yes. Of course, I, I, it, I, I'd forgotten. Really? So he made such a big deal out of it. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I, I didn't remember it correctly. I just I didn't want to disappoint you. It's OK. I understand. I mean, my memory's not as good as it once was, but that's all right. We're going to have lots of great memories of us, but I, I might need a, a refresher course. Is that all right? Sure. OK. I'm going to get us out of here. Yeah, the sooner the better. You know, this must be fate, because I was, I was just thinking about you the other day. You were? about the first meal that we made together. Spaghetti and meatballs. Of course. I remember that. They were delicious. No, ma'am, Duke Leverley doesn't take a, a pizza out of the freezer and toss it in the oven. He makes it from scratch. It was, except it wasn't spaghetti. It was, it was pizza. What's going on here? I'm sorry, Elman. I've been locked up for so long. They tortured me and they, they starved me. My memory's not what it once was. It's just that these are important things, you know, memories that someone would cling to to keep them sane and alive. I mean, I should know. My memories are the only thing keeping me sane and alive right now. It's not as simple as that. These are things that a person doesn't forget. Like, <laughs> Like the time that I told you about my birthday wish. I mean, you remember that, right? Don't you? You you expect me to remember a, a birthday wish from your childhood? Yes, I do. Because that is something that Duke would remember, which means, which means you're not him. Child, you're always too smart for your own good. Tell them a happy birthday from us. I will. She's having a really good birthday. So nice to see her happy. Hey, I want the same for you, you know. Oh, and if Duke is the man for the job, I'm all for it. Really? Yeah. See ya. See ya. Avery, then who are you? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> 